I uh, recently submitted my DNA to be analyzed and uh, results just came back and it turns out I am half black. I'm kind of, I'm pretty disappointed, but, but let me explain why. I've, I've always been told I was half black. As a matter of fact, um, uh, I was put up for adoption supposedly because my dad was black and when my mom lost custody of me, uh, her family wanted nothing to do with me. And so I was pushed into the foster care system. Um, but I was raised by a black woman. I was raised by a black man. My sisters are black. My, my, my brothers are black. Um, I was raised in a black neighborhood, went to black schools, to black church. Um, as a matter of fact, I was, I was always known as the white boy. Um, every experience I had growing up was a black experience. You know? I, I, I remember the, the smell of a hot comb on my sister's hair, the smell of skin so soft, gospel music on Sunday. I, was, I went to a Baptist church. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to bet because of who and what my dad was, I couldn't have been exposed to a more black experience. But here's the problem. I've never felt accepted by the black community. Never felt like I was in place. And, and maybe some of that's my own doing because I've always felt like I had to measure my blackness based on the perceptions of everyone around me. But I heard a million times growing up, you don't look black. I don't think you black. You don't know if you black. You don't know who your daddy is, you ain't black. I was told my, because of my hair, there's no way I'm black. That's not black man hair. You don't look black and white. And, and so herein lies my disappointment. You know, I was kind of hoping that when I opened those DNA results, I was going to see something else. I was hoping that maybe I saw that I was Native American or had Samoan blood or, or, or you know, some type of Hispanic or Latino origin or uh, a variety of Asian or, or whatever it may be. And, and the reason being is, is I just really wanted to have a culture to fit into. I was ready to go buy me some flags that day because here's the thing I've always been accepted by Hispanics Cubans Puerto Ricans I've I've always been accepted by Samoans who thought I was Samoan or Hawaiians who thought I was Hawaiian they've always been ready and, and, and ready to welcome me and you know in, into the culture as a brother you know as a brother as you know family I don't get that with black folks I never have. It's it's even today on the internet. I, I see all the time that if you mixed, you're not black. You're mixed. It's different, which is confusing to me because I also see guys say that it has nothing to do with your skin color, but it's more about the culture. They say things like, "Oh, Candace Owens, we don't care about that type of black. That's not the kind of type of black we care about. She's not of the culture. She's not for the culture. They they only care about black folks who are aligned with black culture." Culturally, every experience I've ever had was black. So I can't understand how, because my skin color a little bit lighter, I'm not black. But I'm almost 40 now, and I spent my entire life guessing whether I was allowed to be black or not. So uh, a part of me just really wanted to have something else I can latch on to and celebrate. Because here I am now. I, I got my results. My my dad was a hundred percent black. Not an ounce of Native American blood in his in his body. Not an ounce of Hispanic blood. Just black. And like, so it, it's it's it feels very anticlimactic. I don't know. Um. You know, it, it's so bad that I had to call my son, my oldest son, and tell him, you can stop telling people you're Mexican now. And the saddest part is, I still know he's still going to have to fight for his black identity. And so at some point, it's like, do I keep fighting to be black?